What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to talk about something pretty cool. What I'm gonna show you today is how to cut the top. This time, we're cutting the top to a comb over. We're not cutting the top to a mohawk, frohawk, and it's a one side undercut comb over. There's a difference. There's two different comb overs. This time, I'm gonna show you one of them. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a comb over. This is gonna be called a disconnected comb over, which means this side is disconnected from the bottom part. So this is the top part of the hair. You see how the bottom is shorter? If I comb this down, you see how it kinda just hangs over? That's how you know that it's like disconnected. You have to always wet the hair. Makes it easier that way, it keeps everything consistent. Cutting the sides pretty easy. All you have to do is kind of cut it close. Sometimes the client wanted to go all the way in right here, but this client particularly don't want it to go all the way in. He still wants a little bit of hair there. Because if you bring it all the way in, the shape will change. It will make this thing round off here. So you always got to double check with the client to see if uh, that's what they want. Always just talk to your client and never just assume they want it that way. All right, you guys, I always start with the front. Always cut the front first because that's going to be your first guideline. And this client will probably have like this much off. Okay, that's the mark right there. And then when you slide it back, just grab the next part of the hair. You can see the guideline right here if I'm pulling it down. You see the old hair right there? That, that's the next spot you know, need to cut. Just do that over and over again and make sure you go all the way to the back. Don't try to take this thing too fast because if you do only four cuts up here, it's gonna be very uneven. So make sure you do as many as you can. I usually do from front to back. I usually do about eight times. Sometimes I'll do more if the hair is shorter, but I find that eight times is a good amount of time to cut the top from front to back. The front right here, I cut it already. And if you guys can see, see how it's short right there? This part's long. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna even it out. So just like that. And then do the same thing again. See how you have the guideline on this side? I'm just making sure that's even. Going all the way back again. This is how you cut the top for every single haircut. The only difference is the left side, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. But this right side is the same. Remember to keep the hair wet. It's a lot easier that way. And then comb it back down. And you wanna connect this to the side and not just like this because then it would just come to a point and then you're gonna have a lot of hanging over to take care of. So just make sure you bend your fingers around and this edge around like that. And the last part about cutting the top and then having connected the side, is I have my hand angle all the way like this and cutting that little corner that sticks out. If you guys don't wanna use the scissors for this part, you can always do a clip of a comb which I'm gonna show you right now. So by scissors, you just angle your hand like this. See how that little point that sticks out right there? That's what you cut off. To show you guys one more time, just like that. That is how you do the scissors. And this one, you're gonna have to comb down this way. And then you see a little bit of hair hanging out right there. This is how you clip over comb it. Make sure the hair is combed completely straight down. Don't push it forward like this. Don't push it back like that, just straight down where it is. Have your comb straight up and then take out everything that sticks out. See how if I go straight up right there, you see those hair that are sticking out right there? That's what you cut off. Be sure to use a number one just because a number one will make it a better blend. If you do a zero, it's just too sharp and it won't look very like natural. A number one always makes it look more texturized, so be sure to use a number one up here instead. Okay, the difference on this, I'm gonna spray a little bit more water. The difference on this comb over, the disconnected one, is that you don't make this like that. You don't wanna cut all that off. You want this side to be a little bit longer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a guideline that I already have from the middle and I'm just gonna cut off the other part. 
So if you guys see, my guide line from the middle starts right here. Everything else I need to cut off. And for this side, I'm just gonna go straight across. I'm not gonna bend my hand, I'm not gonna angle it like that. I'm just gonna go straight across. The reason people have this type of comb over is because their hair lays down a lot easier. If it's like this, if you blend it all the way to the other side, like this, it's gonna have a lot of hair that sticks up on this side, especially thick hair. It's gonna stick up and it's not gonna lay nicely. So you see how this side is longer than this side? That's what it's supposed to look like. This side's supposed to come comb over this way and lay down flat. You see how it's laying down like this? If this was short, it would have stuck up like this. And this is why some people would want a disconnected comb over. The hair combs over this way. And I always cross check. You have to cross check your top. So I went from front to back. This time I'm gonna go from side to side. And that's cross checking. I'm gonna start on this end because this hair combs over this way. So you always wanna go against the comb over. So I'm gonna pull it up. And if it doesn't look straight, all you're doing now is just making it even. Don't cut any more length off. So here, I see that there's just tiny bits of hair that are sticking up longer than the rest. If you guys look at it, you guys can see like this part right here is just a tiny bit longer. And that's all you're cutting, you guys. Just making sure it's even. So if you guys went like from front to back really fast, you're gonna see a lot of bumps here. And that's because you're not doing enough. You need to do at least eight times from front to back, at least eight cuts. If you don't, you're gonna start seeing this kind of hill shape. And if you see that hill shape, that's because the top is not blended at all. The top is just really messy. So if you cut the top perfectly, if everything is blended, then that means you can angle this any way and it's supposed to be blended. So for example, I can even crisscross that. Like this, I don't have to go from here to here. I can go this way, this way, this way, any way I want, and it's supposed to be even everywhere. So if I go like this, you see how it's even? I go like this, you see how it's even there? See that? So if I do this, right, you see how there's a couple hair right here? Gotta make sure that's even. So that's how you cross check and that's how you double check your work. So the top isn't easy to cut, you gotta double check and make sure everywhere is even. And if you check about three or four different spots, so that would be one spot here, and then I'm gonna just pull randomly here, and then over here. If you check about four to five times and there's no unevenness at all, there's no hills or anything like that, then that means the top's really well done. So make sure you even out the top before you finish the client and style his hair. And you guys, when you're cutting the top, there's gonna be a lot of hair falling on your client's face. Be sure to brush those hair off. It's pretty annoying if you're them and you feel all this hair on your face. So it's kind of common courtesy to brush those hair off. So don't be lazy about that part. Make your client feel comfortable. That's the biggest and most important part. Now, after I've already cut the top, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look at hair and strands that are hanging out. For example, there's hair right here that I know that's supposed to be short, but it's still long there. I'm just gonna freehand that and cut that there. I'm gonna comb this over, making sure everything underneath this line that I made is shorter than the top. Going around the hair, making sure it's perfect. One thing that I do is after I cut the top, I always try to style the client's hair and then see if there's anything else that sticks out. If there's nothing else, then I did a pretty good job. If there's something else, then just clean it up before they leave. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I styled his hair and now I'm gonna come back and just clean up anything that I see. What I did is that I saw a couple strand that was longer than the rest, so I just wanted to clean that up. Another important note is if they have a disconnected comb over, make sure that this line is straight, okay? Don't have it like looping down or going up and all over the place. Just make sure this line is completely straight. The straighter the line, the better it looks.
I hope you guys found that useful. There's a few ways to cut the top, and this is my way to show you guys how to cut the top, the easiest way that I found. There's also a few ways to cut a comb over. This is just one of the ways to do it. Next video, I will show you guys the second way. If you guys have any questions at all, leave it in the comment below and I'll talk to you guys some more there. Other than that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button too if you guys haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out guys.